Salmon burgers make a lovely alternative to fish cakes. And I'm using the Clear Island organic salmon for this. It was really interesting being out in the boat and seeing how strong the currents were. So this is the salmon here. What I've done is just got it filleted, pin boned, and then the skin is off. So this is one little piece with the skin on and the skin is off this and we're gonna dice this. So we're gonna get the salmon using a big knife so there's no bones, the skin is removed and we're gonna dice this into cubes. And you can see how lean it is and that's the currents. The salmon are constantly swimming. You can see them jumping. It was just a great experience for me to see that. So cut into long little strips and then we're gonna cube it. These salmon burgers can be made ahead and they can be kept in the fridge. I'm just gonna simply pan fry them. But I'm gonna serve them with a really lovely, it's a tomato and roasted red pepper salsa. So when we've got our salmon done like this, simply dice them into nice cubes. So small little dice. And what I'm gonna do now is just simply scoop it into the bowl. So a nice big bowl just helps you when you're mixing and then a little bit of spring onion. So I'm just gonna chop the spring onion. So that's my salmon in the bowl. I'm gonna use two of the spring onion here. Try and chop it nice and fine. And on the board that you had the salmon on is absolutely fine for this. Into the bowl, on top of the salmon, we're gonna put our sesame seeds. So a nice sprinkling of this. Two spoonfuls of the Dijon mustard. Now we need to season it, just a little touch of salt, some nice ackle sea salt, and we're gonna combine this all together. I've tried this recipe with Japanese horseradish, which is called wasabi. Now it's punchy, it's uh, very flavoursome, and if you like sushi or you have it at home, try it a little bit, goes a long way in this. But definitely don't try the mustard and the wasabi. So that's what we're looking at there, that's it. Now we're gonna shape it, just very, very rustic, just with our hands. Just before I shape them, I'm gonna preheat my pan, and I'm gonna use the nice rapeseed oil, and I'm gonna put some into the wee pan, and this is gonna be for the salsa, which I'm gonna warm through afterwards. So, good hot pan. So just get your mixture and kind of shape it. Press it down like this. So you seal it in. Just a little bit of flour, so the moisture from the salmon will absorb the flour and we'll hold it together a little bit. So that's one done. And I'm gonna put that straight onto the pan. The pan should be nice and hot, just make sure it is. You can hear that little sizzle. We'll do another one. And it's really good to use oily fish for this. Just makes it a little bit easier. I think two of these is more than enough for a serving. And the difference in this with fish cakes, you'd have the base would be mashed potato, you'd also have some salmon and other different kinds of fish. Very carefully place it down, watch the fingers, and now we've got to wash our hands. Turn down the pan. I definitely don't want to overcook. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in that. Two wee pieces of butter there. Just let them nicely cook. Now I'm going to start the tomato and roasted red pepper salsa. I have got a couple of tomatoes, de-seeded, but I've left the skin on, and then a roasted red pepper. I love roasted red peppers. So we're just going to dice them, warm them through. So cut this one in half, and then we're going to dice this. Long little, not unlike actually the salmon. So there's great knife skills in this recipe. And that's why a good knife is crucial. So a little cube here. So this is pre-roasted, so there's no need to cook it too much. If you want to roast your own peppers in the oven, under the grill, you can do that. But they get a little bit soft, so they do. And a little bit mushy. So I'm just going to put it into the bowl. So the tomatoes. Again, three little strips. Nice cube of this. And you can make this recipe with cherry tomatoes when they're in season. The lovely little vine cherry tomatoes are gorgeous. So I've just used one small tomato and one small roasted red pepper. So we're gonna put a little bit of sweet chili sauce, a little drizzle of that. We're gonna put in lemon zest. I love lemon zest or lime zest in this, works really well. So using the microplane onto the bowl, grate it just like this. Now, I always think it's nicer warm through. So what I'm gonna do is heat the pan. Just before I put the salsa on, I'm going to turn the salmon burgers. And using a fish slice is probably the easiest, because they are fragile, and they look great. Colorful, nice bit of texture there from the actual flour and the spring onion, and of course, the sesame seeds. And don't worry, that one is just breaking up a little bit. Don't worry about that. If you wanted to hold it together, you could put an egg, but I didn't really want to put an egg. I think it's nicer to eat without the egg. We get our salsa into the pan. We're gonna warm this all through. So I put a little bit of rapeseed oil, I'm gonna put a little bit more, and then we're gonna make it sweet and sour. So how do we do that? We use a little bit of vinegar, white wine, cider vinegar, anything like that is fine. Just a splash. Pinch of sugar, so you have the sweet and sour. A 
and then we need a little bit of salt and then a touch of lemon juice. Just literally a squeeze, that's all I'm putting in here. And then we stir this through. We have a little bit of pepper and then taste it. Because if you add too much vinegar, then you counteract it with a little bit of sugar. Mm. It's not too spicy because it's sweet chili sauce. A little bit of fresh basil. At the last minute, switch everything off and then we'll be ready to serve. It's as easy as that. A little bit of sourdough bread. So instead of using your traditional burger bap, we're going to use a little bit of sourdough bread, a little bit of oil, you put on a griddle pan and you toast it. This is baby gem. It's just so tasty. So we're going to put that there. Carefully lift up your salmon burger. So that's the first one there. So you can see this great texture from the salmon because you've diced it. It's not minced. So it's a very, very different mouthfeel. Then we have a lovely red pepper. Salsa here. I think two of these and you'll be well satisfied. Finally, I'm going to finish with a little bit of coriander. And this is some micro coriander. So these are these small little shoots. And there you have a burger with a difference. That's my Clare Island organic salmon burgers with our lovely roasted red pepper and tomato salsa. Irish seafood. Easy to prepare and easy to cook. For everyday meals.